Hey guys, TechNivers here. As you may have seen yesterday on my 3D printing with beer episode, I did end up clogging the hot end. I clogged it a couple times. The last time I left it clogged so I could show you quickly and easily how to effectively move a clog. Now, this doesn't happen to me often on this machine because I do have the hot end fixed in here. So there is a piece of Bowden tube that prevents it from creating a gap between the nozzle and the Bowden tube. So the clog isn't too bad. So the easiest way for me to fix this is to superheat the hot end and then I'm going to use this to unclog it and I will show you how in just a second. Alright now before we get to the video if you're new to the channel I wanted to let you know that we try to stay up to date on all things 3D printing from filament and printer reviews to in-depth slicer analysis as well as a plethora of how-to videos so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. That being said let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do when unclogging our hot end here is make sure that the hot end is up to temperature. We were printing with a particulate infused PLA. It's falling over because I adjusted my machine, as you can see here. So we are going to superheat our hot end. We're going to preheat it for ABS to ensure that everything is nice and melty in there and is way past its glass transition temperature, so it just flows right out of there. While it's heating, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the coupler from the Bowden tube here. This is the only thing you should have to unhook. Uh, you can either wait until you've heated it completely and then try to withdraw the filament. I happen to know that this filament is stuck pretty good, so I'm going to remove the Bowden, and I'm going to clip it down as low as I can, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, so as you can see, I have lifted the hot end here, or excuse me, the coupler here, and I'm going to reach in and gently pry out what I can of the plastic that's stuck in there. You don't want to wrench on this too hard, you see it elongating, that's because that part was hot down in there, so I'm gonna clip it there. Now if you look down in here, you'll see a little washer in there. Now that is part of the hot end fix. If you haven't done the hot end fix, I will put a card up for it. There's a link up in the corner right now. Um, you're gonna to wanna to do this fix. It will prevent most jams uh, but the way to clean this out is now that I'm superheated up to temperature, I'm basically going to insert this guy here into the slot in my washer, and I'm going to push down and force all the filament out of there. Now, since this is rigid, it is solid, it will push that weaker, softer filament through. I'm going to actually go ahead and need my phone stand here. And we are right below the hot end here, as you can see. It's right there. So um, you can see a little bit of stuff starting to pool out of there. That's because it is super hot. I'm going to lower this down a little bit so you can see what's going on here. And then I'm going to hold it in place, and I'm going to push the clog through. And there it goes, just burst right through there. This is the easiest way to do this without removing your nozzle. So, the next thing I want to do is I have a piece of filament here. Okay, I'm going to clip a 45 into the end. And I'm going to gently feed this in there. And I'm going to make sure that I can get my second filament, this black color, to come out of the hot end by exerting the normal amount of pressure. So, it's gonna push out the rest of what's in there first. You can see it's starting to change color, that transition there. And I am now extruding my filament with no clogs. So, pull that guy. We can now shut down our printer, reinstall the Bowden tube, and switch over to our next filament and our clog is clean clear and ready to go well that's basically the gist of it there you have it a couple quick notes about this technique now when you are using your allen key i am using the smallest allen key that i have available in my set the second smallest that comes with the ender 3 will also work but only if you do not have the hot end fix in place so 
The other important thing to remember is when you're placing your Allen key into the Bowden slot, you want to make sure that you are leaving a gap between your hot end, which is super hot, and your bed because the downward pressure will not only keep it from extruding out the end of the nozzle, but the heat of the nozzle will actually mar your bed and forcing down on it when nothing can come out can cause damage to the inside of the hot end. So you want to basically hold the bar, the crossbar, the X axis here, or excuse me, the, the, the gantry that the X motor is on. And you want to basically keep it in place while applying even downward pressure to force that clog out of the extruder. So you don't want to be in contact with your bed. You don't want to mash it all the way down. And if you're having trouble pushing, then heat it up a little bit more and give it a little push. So you don't want to leave this in the hot end very long because obviously it is made out of metal and it will get superheated super quickly. So the idea is to get the hot end hot. You push out the filament that's clogging the hot end and then remove the tool and get everything put back together. Now, I didn't shut it off or cool it down when I put it back together because I'm going to go straight to printing. This was about a two-minute fix. All I had to do was remove the coupler, insert my Allen key to force out that clog, and now we are good to print again. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.